All right, thanks for staying with us. As we already know. <laughs> <laughs> Our leaders are comfortable. Eh, you said? Our leaders are comfortable. Okay, so emphasizing the critical role of... Ah, that's okay, this is a parent's day. Now, let me get something that I think... Jennifer, maybe you should establish that story again that you took. Okay. Mm. On so basically, the um, Brazil's ex-president, Fernando Collor de Mello, bags won on 106 months imprisonment for bribery and money laundering. Hmm. So I think um, from these as well, the guy is actually 73 years old. Hmm. So I have a question. Why is it that the older guys that are always committing this these fraudulent these fraudulent acts well the, oh the old people yes uh, i thought you said there was somebody else in that story yeah the current um the current president mm -hmm. yeah the current president was also sentenced um he spent about 580 days in prison mm -hmm. but then his case was overturned hmm. all right so accountability is a key component in leadership it is essentially the act of holding yourself accountable to others and to be an effective leader you must be able to hold yourself accountable for your actions and decisions as well as actions and um, decisions of those you are responsible for. So accountability takes many forms. And when leaders are held accountable for their actions as well as on, um, understand the consequences of um, failing to meet <coughs> expectations, people will trust their leaders more. Bringing this back home to Nigeria oh, or our Nigerian leaders, they were asking can our leaders be held accountable um, especially judging by all the conversations and the jailing and um, what's it called the stories that we took in the news now please let's hear what you have to say remember you can join the conversation send us an sms or whatsapp to 081 803 you can also tweet at us at we show africa one with the hashtag we show all right so i mean from the story that you established jennifer right um and i think I think we've said this thing several times in different ways, right? And I, I want it to really sink in, not from a point of maybe an attack or anything, right? A lot of times when you see, yes, when you see, it's just like a child, you know, when you tell your child, oh, uh, oh yeah, go and wear your shoes. You know how parents used to do now? Yeah. Before you come, they don't Pray take off, <laughs> you know? <laughs> At some point, what you have done, if you keep doing that, for a while, what you've successfully done is to build distrust. Yes. So the child sees you now and the child does not trust or does not believe you will do what it is that you want to do or the promises that you have made, whether you will fulfill them. So that's the, what, we, what has happened to us as a nation, right? Over the years, different things have happened. And this is not attributed to one person or one tenure, one regime or whatever. Collectively, right, the, the crop of leaders that we've had over the years, you know, it's been different you know disappointments upon disappointments so all of a sudden now people are not trusting of the government right and for 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 there to be accountability right there has to also be that first of all the willingness on the part of the person that needs to be held accountable to say you know what hold me accountable that willingness for that transparency one that transparency is lacking secondly right once trust is breached Right, it is difficult for you to, um, for you to gain that trust back because you have to now warm your way into the person's life, and deliberately take steps and actions that would say, okay, you know what, this person now sees that sincerity and the genuineness of your actions to say, okay, you know what, this person, I think, you know, we can start to, you know, um, trust the person. Accountability is never about the other party. Yeah. I think accountability is more on you as a person, right? I will be the one to choose that and you can hold me accountable. If you ask me, don't put, because a lot of times, again, I've heard this argument that Nigerians, <coughs> we, do not, we do not hold our leaders accountable. It is only who wants to be held accountable that will be held accountable. Do you understand? <laughs> because, yeah, until you tell yourself that, but you know there, what? There are laws in place. Uh, that yeah, we will come to the laws in, in fairness. You see, you see now. Now you say, we should tread it softly, but we'll come to the laws, it's true. But um, 
Can the leaders be held accountable? The question that, that we have posed, I would say only if they want to be held accountable, right? Because now, look at the story I took about the president talking tough and saying that they will crush all oil thefts. We know. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever saw that video on oil theft. The size of the vessel mm. that is oh, yeah. used. The, the guy, you know, that, the guy that did the, the, yes, the, yeah. yes, the size of the vessel that is used to steal oil. Come on. It's not like chewing gum that I can hide inside this place and put it inside my bra now. Do you understand? Yeah. It is, it is, it is a, a syndicated stealing structure. So that's why I'm saying that it's beyond talking tough, right? Heads will have to go down for it. People's, um, what's it called? Um, people, there has to be some deliberate attempt to see that people will be arrested. People will be jailed, right? Because guess what? Every oil theft that happens in this country is in connivance with the military, connivance with the, what's it called, the, the marine, connivance is sometimes even with the, with, with, with the, what's it called, all that value chain of security agencies. Con, con, it's a complete connivance with them. Nobody can come and steal oil of this magnitude. Do you understand? Without some level of somebody looking away and saying, you know what, just give me my court. So when I say that can leaders be held accountable, the, the answer I would say is that only if they want to. But let me hear your thoughts, right? Um, do you think what happened in Brazil, let me come to you, Jen, um, Mary, first. Do you think what, in, what happened in Brazil, do you think we can ever have that kind of scenario happen here in Nigeria? Maybe not at this point, but I, I think we can get there. I think the leaders can be held accountable. I honestly do think. I know it's a far stretch from where we are, but I think they can be held accountable. And with baby steps, eventually we will get there. I mean, we had the news of, um, is it Fanny Kaede? Yeah. Who is under investigation now by the EFCC. Fire me. Fire me. F Fire me. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, and that's a step, you know. I mean, I believe under every normal circumstance, he could have probably bribed his way through you know, or might still bribe his way through, but I'm, I'm just saying that it's a step, you know, even them holding him, you know, investigating and probing is a step of being accountable. So I believe that, yes, our leaders can be held accountable. Okay, or, Jennifer, huh? let me hear your thoughts. I'll come back to that. Um, <laughs> so personally, I believe, <clears throat> I kind of agree with you, um, Oa, if you want to be held accountable, once you hold yourself accountable, you don't necessarily need um, a large number of people or people outside of yourself to hold you accountable. And if there is any, um, if there is something else that I know, I know that our legal system is a bit corrupt. Now, for the, the Brazil um, ex-president that we're talking about, you can see that there was nothing that he could do. Do you understand? The legal system is working. But I also know that even in other countries, because corruption isn't only in Nigeria, it's, it's all over the world, that I'm sure that even in Brazil alone, there are probably some powerful people that have committed worse crimes or committed the same crime as he has, and they've not been held accountable or they've not been brought to book. But for Nigeria, bringing it back home, we saw a lot of things this period. For, I don't exactly have confidence in our legal system, there's no 100% confidence for me to say, oh yeah, the legal system or <clears throat> the law will be able to bring these people to books when they commit a crime. Because some of these crimes that were committed, were committed in broad daylight. Like it was seen, you know who to catch, you know who to apprehend, you know who to sentence, you know the exact crime that they have committed. But we see that time and time again, People are going scot free. People are going scot free. It's only people who can bail themselves out of these situations or people who do not have money that actually suffer. Those are the people that they actually hold accountable. Mm. You commit a crime, you're being taken to jail, and probably nobody hears from you again. And it's probably something you did that was very, very small. Mm. But then when you talk about something of this magnitude, you know the funny thing? Somebody has so. argued that if you are going to steal in this country make sure you steal very heavy mm. so, you can big so that you can bribe your way out of it you know but let me take a break right i'd like to open our phone lines to hear your thoughts on this right and i want to come back to what maria touched on on femi um coyote fire me being held up by efcc um we'll do all of that but first let's go on a break
All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing our ladies' night, and we're discussing can our leaders be held accountable, taking a cue from what had happened, you know, jailing a president in other countries, right? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow, Africa 1, with the hashtag Wayshow. Our phone line is now open. The number to call is 7749 That's the number to call. Remember... Turn off whatever device it is that you are watching or listening in from so we can um, we don't have a feedback. So it's actually interesting that you mentioned um, Coyote Fire may being held up by EFCC. Now, my challenge with that kind of story is that two things in Nigeria. Um, the only time we get to see, and this is just me from a layman standpoint, right? The only time we get to see people being like, you know, now they now bring the terminology witch hunt or whatever. It's probably maybe the person is has fallen out of favor with the government. Right. And again, even when we see these things about interrogation, we never hear the end of it. You know, we just see it, it makes noise, make a lot of news and all of that. And all of a sudden it goes quiet. And that's why, for me, the story I took, uh, I think, on Tuesday, where they were talking about the, was it on Tuesday I took that story? Yes, I think so. Where the hotelier in New York State, right, that was linked to the, the master's degree student that was killed, mm. right? That they hung uh, him. Yes, that he was going to, him and three of his member of staff will be, will be sentenced to death by hanging. I was quite happy because, not that I was happy that somebody was dying, I was happy that, okay, at least, you know, we've seen a, um, an end to this um, conversation and this story, this crime, right? Um, a lot of crime happens in Nigeria, and it's almost like if you are not doing the crime you are you are like on the other side like now crime is so normalized that when you try to do things by the books or do things right right it's almost like you are now the alien right it's it's now like that it's it's that lopsided right so um yes it is good that femi um kaya defiant me is being interrogated by efcc first two things for me is it that he's not in favor with the current government? Because we know so many people that have done worse crimes. Mm -hmm. But because they're in the same... I mean, we've, 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 we've seen this thing happen over time where they decamp to the um, same party just to... Do you understand? Just Avoid. to make sure that they're in the same... And they don't get, you know, they don't get the... Um, what's it called now? The, the, they don't get to be scrutinized or to get to be arrested or whatever for their crimes. We've seen that happen. And that's on one hand. Secondly... Don't, stories like this, it really doesn't stay long, right? But I think we have a caller, Ezekiel. From Thank you for calling. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, good Ezekiel. Evening. You're live. Yeah, all right. This is Ezekiel from Ogba. Thank you for calling. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to greet you all from the studio. Thank you. You're doing a good job. Thank you. All right, now, let me just uh, chip in my own contribution just a little bit. Now, the issue of um, our leaders in this country, what they are doing, that is right or wrong. Then, lately in the news, I heard now that Tinubu asked um, security chiefs to crush all chiefs. Now, the truth is, uh, is what we've been hearing over and over again. Like you said, you know, that um, uh, is a fabricated approach, you know. They will say it, but nothing will be done. The oil teeth, let me just say, the, this issue of oil teeth is not done by poor people, it's done by rich people, and they know them. I wrote on my group chat, my secondary school group chat this evening, that the problem of Nigeria can be solved by the people in country. They know the issue to our problems, but they will just not do anything. Do you know why? Because of party party politics, uh, is my friend, so that I know, and they look away. Eh? Because of greed, no, um, I use the word Ajepan, no, they eat like a hyena, they eat without remnant. No, they know how to tackle the issue in the country, but they won't do it, they will never do it. Thank you. And I keep saying that uh, God will help Nigeria. See, God has already helped Nigeria, and God will use one person or a set of people that are okay. To help us, God will not come down by himself to come and help Nigeria. Absolutely. People that can help Nigeria are there in government, but they just won't do it. Thank you so much, Ezekiel. 
And I mean, yeah. I think Ezekiel is just further emphasizing the point I had made earlier that, you see, these are things that we hear all the time. Yeah. It sounds really nice on paper. We're going to crush them. We're going to kill them. We're going to do this. We're going to end it. It doesn't... It's, it's, can we, I mean, have, I can think, we have a bit of faith? No, no. Hold on. It's not issue of faith now, right? Faith is not stupidity. Right? Okay, faith is not stupidity. Fair. I mean, even the Bible says that while you're having that faith, without work is dead, right? You True. must add action to whatever it is that you're doing. And, 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 and again, this is for me because I feel like we are at a crossroad. It's either this government that has come into power, right, will make Nigeria or break Nigeria or, or man Nigeria, right? So you, you really must be very intentional and deliberate. Let's stop playing to the gallery. Let's stop doing things like we used to do it. Insanity, they say you do the same thing over and over again and you expect a different result. That is, you are insane. Let's change that narrative, right? You know, so, I mean, but let, let me take another caller. Ah, it's been a long time, oh, youngest old man. Why did you abandon us? <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Oh, shoot, did we lose him? That's an old, old caller, right? Youngest old man, Hello, are you can there? Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Ah, uh ah, -uh, long time. The network is bad. Oh, sugar, please try to call you. back. Try to call back. So, I mean, accountability, right? I can only, and, and this is what I teach my children. I mean, to, today, thank God, is even day of global parenting. Parenting. I teach my children that for everything that happens in your life, you must, you must, you must hold yourself accountable for it. Don't yeah. push the blame on somebody else. Because, again, this is what we see all the time with our leaders. Okay, something is going by. Ah, it was the previous administration. It was this one. It was this person that did not let me do my job. This is what we see all the time. Let's take, let's take ownership. Let's own our mistakes. Oh, this one, we really goofed. You understand? But you see what? We have taken steps and measures to ensure that this kind of error does not happen again. That way, gradually, you'll be building back trust. You understand? Because now we are seeing integrity. Now look at this fuel subsidy issue now that has happened. Where is the blueprint that says all this other money that you have taken aside from subsidy, how you are going to, the plan. You can't just say vaguely that I will throw it into infrastructure, I will throw it into this. Where is the plan? Do you understand? These are things that will hold you, even as a leader, accountable. Because now you have shown me that this is the way I'm going. So if you see me going left, you can ask call me back to, to order. But let's take Pastor Ladipo. I think he's live. Good evening. Pastor Ladipo, are you there? Hello. Yeah, good evening, my sister in the studio. Hi, good evening. Yes, I'm here. Good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. You can hear me? Yes, yeah. we can hear you. Yes. This is uh, Pastor Ladis Bokolo from Morilego. Yes, please go ahead. Now, my take is this. Eh? Okay. My take is this. The system allows these people to seal us dry. You know why I said the system allowed them to seal us dry? Nigeria has a system that doesn't have consequences for bad behavior, mm -hmm. especially in this fourth republic. I don't know if you are getting it. Go ahead. In the same way, we don't have a good system to reward good behavior. So, if we have a system that was good behavior, we will also look at the system that have to have consequences on bad behavior. Let me ask you guys some questions. What has happened to the Akanta General to date? Is the man not working freely? He went to lesser act. Is he not to pray to God after looting the treasury drive? You see, the system will run around this. So everybody is struggling to get into that system. So once they get into that, they know that they will be protected. Like you said, that vessel is not a needle that can just disappear. So if, if Nigeria is like a place where some group of people have conspired together to make sure they impoverish the people by stealing them dry. Mm -hmm. And they are positioned themselves in everywhere. Okay, now, you are considering Baja to become the chief of staff. But they have won election. In Surulere, constituency two have been won. 
So will you forfeit that position or will you hold the two positions? Well, we will not be reasonable. We'll see, we'll see how, we'll see them, how that plays them. out. So we don't have a system that punish people for bad behavior. Mm. That is it. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nigeria will be blessed. I mean, so... I think he ahead. nailed it. He nailed it. Mm. He really did say it. Um, yeah. So who, so who is to structure the system now? <laughs> <laughs> Who is to structure this system? Maybe try to run away because from you the, to ask me. the people that are corrupt at the top are still people that are going to form the system. So, I mean, but Jennifer, what do you think? Though? So I think at the end of the day, with situations like this, it's just to hope for the best and hope that there is someone that comes in but that you has. is not a strategy. I get that. I get that. But then the honest truth is, what more can we do? There's so much you can fight. I saw it sweet today. I was trying to get it, but maybe I would look for it and probably we were able to to talk about it. But it's almost in alignment with this and how um, our optimism as Nigerians is equated to cowardice. Because we, we are holding on to optimism, this hope, oh, things will change, things will change. So we just sit back and relax and not do anything and then when one person or a group of people decides to do something it's like you're going outside of the norm mm. so as a people collectively we are used to corruption we are used to bad behavior we're used to all of these things so when one sector just moves and goes outside you of that. Very odd. Do you understand? You're yeah. odd because it's like I mean, this is something we have been managing. We are used to I it. I can yes, mm. you are used to it. Ah, I can bribe my way through it. So for those who can bribe their way through it, I can bribe my way through it and get this. Mm. But then if this group of people come out and decide that oh, we want to change things, we are tired of this. Now you have hundred people as opposed to about one million people. Mm. It's like and then you have only ten people who are able to bribe their way through. Once the 100 people is like, oh, you're coming to spoil my show. Absolutely. Let me take youngest old man. Longest time, oh. Hello, are you there? Youngest old man. Ah, are we still ah. having network issues? Oh, wow. Ah, ah, our enemies don't want us to talk to our, mm. our, our, our friend of the house. So I think I found the tweet. Yeah, so the ahead. person said that we use optimism as a coping mechanism. Hmm. So you see, oh, like I just said now, hope for the best. Mm. That's, I can only hope for the best. Exactly, it is not a strategy. Is it, it is not a strategy. And I feel like as, as, as a country, a lot of us are waiting for yes, that yeah. savior. Youngest old man, are you there? Yes, I'm here now. Ah, I'm finally. Oh. <laughs> Long time. Ah, you abandoned us, so it's not fair. Oh. <laughs> God pass that. Go ahead, please. You see, this is sure about accountability, eh? The the fish don't first point from head. So what I did. Mm. We don't even know who's going to build the cat. All I know is that uh we just hope that good thing will come out of Kazai. But basically when I when I watch an interview that I'm going to go to well uh, sorry, I think a speech. It's a speech I watched it, I think gave points today. I almost cried. When that woman said things that happened, I think she said that it's her first time saying it publicly. Nobody's aware of what people go through sometimes when you try to do the right thing in a country like ours. Mm. The pastor I called earlier said something about the man that he said, even went to pray to God for allowing him to lose your attack. So basically, there's a lot of things that is going wrong, and the level of encouragement is high. Mm. And that is why you see a child. Telling you that being of good value is not his role model. That is not something that he looks after. He wants to blow. Because the good guys are being seen as the Jew guys. Yeah. So we have a lot. We have a lot to do in this country. And for me, with my age, I'm not stop. You understand? Do you know my big worry? The little ones coming up. In those days, I know we envy people that are on top. People that are with good attitudes. People that keep up to standards. You understand? We look up to people. You see people that you want to kind of promote them, people that you like to be mentors. But now, what is coming up is so long that we don't even know what our people coming up will look up to. Hmm. Because basically, everything is just there. Hmm. And you know what point about the average Nigeria? The average Nigeria is so angry about corruption. It's angry because it's not part of the corruption. Absolutely. So Thank you. It's an average old man. 
If they get into there now, it's connection. Absolutely. But when they are not there, it's corruption. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's why all they talk about. If they have even got shot, ask pastor when not call you so. He will tell you. Well, they have gone to a station where a pastor is in the cell. I had one late night issue and I, I had a serious argument with the policeman and he took me to the cell. I met a pastor there. And it's because he 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 what is seriously happening with our side? Thank you, thank and you, you thank you. Guys. Thank you. See, eh, you see what the youngest old man said. So yeah. my sister called me this morning, and she said that ah, they heard that somebody, somebody was going to be appointed. That so the, the that so the someone now called her husband and was saying that ah, please quickly call him more position, position yourself. That is Nigeria. We can't be shouting. We are using two sides of our mouth mm -hmm. to be talking. Mm -hmm. Would you be okay like tomorrow now they just appoint Mary? Chief, uh, what's it called? Luxury shopper for the president and all of that. Wow. You just actually created a position. I just created a position for Man. you. Chief luxury shopper to the president of the Federal <laughs> Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> like, when Mary is appointed, all of a sudden, we are going to say, how far now, Mary? Where is this international now? now? What are you talking about? about? <laughs> right? So, I mean, everybody, it is corruption only when it is not <laughs> in your not, favor. You're not yeah. Yeah. from it. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So, when we talk about accountability, I don't even know how <laughs> we really want you to... Need you need a know, system that's not that, biased. That's what I'm saying to you, that that accountability can only happen from individual results. Yeah. 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 Like I have told myself, come rain, come sunshine. This is the principle that I will stand by. Right. This is what I will live by. Mm. Then guess what? You don't know, take it a step further. You now mm. print out that principle in a working document. Show it to your people that you are governing to say, okay... These are the steps that I've decided to take. If you see me going out of out of this, uh, what's it called, jurisdiction, call, call me, me back. back to order. Do you understand? Then you're not saying, okay, you know what? Be my accountability partner. But well, mm. accountability starts with you first. This thing reminds as a person. me of a diet. Of, yes, now. Have you seen that picture? <laughs> that have you kids of when you want to diet? Say, and I'll your friend says, eh, eh. I told you that it's, it's just small now. It's just small I want to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Let's take a, a comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have Loma. Why you get that comment, uh, Mary? Loma for Babia State. Quickly, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, good evening, my dear sister. Good evening. Good evening. This is Loma <laughs> for Babia State. Yes, please go ahead. See, we can hold our uh, leaders accountable if only Ines will not impose a leader on us. Ines and some papa will not impose leaders on us. Now, come to have your state. Yes. We decided to pick a leader acceptable by all. Tomorrow, if the man is not doing well, we will ask him questions. You promise this, you promise that because the man is the product of the people. You can only we can only be we can only hold our leaders responsible if those leaders are the product of the people. Not imposed like the way I present I make a doing. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank so much, Loma. Loma, I knew he was going to go there. Uh, Mary, you take the comment. Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. Can our leaders be held accountable? Our leaders can be held accountable without any shadow of doubt. The so called leaders make promises, so they have no choice than to fulfill them. Any leader that makes promises and fails to fulfill them can never be a leader. Some stubborn leaders make promises and refuse to fulfill them and then refuse to be accountable for them and they end up damning the consequences. A typical example of a leader that refuses to be accountable for his pro promises is the new leader we have now. Before his inauguration, he promised not to disappoint us, but he ended up starting to disappoint us. My dear, beautiful, runaway sister, Jenny, you are welcome back. I miss you a lot. My so, name is Daniel Elo, Waze Regular. Fan. Let me quickly address uh, initial disappointment that Daniel is talking about. And I believe it's tied to this fuel scarcity. And I'm sorry, the fuel um, subsidy, subsidy removal. Yeah. In fairness, right, the, 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 I don't fault the president for, for taking that decision. I think everybody has come to the agreement that fuel subsidy in this country is a scam. Where I fault some of this policies is what else have you put in place and where is the plan so let's not just say we'll channel the money to something else 
what are we doing exactly? Yeah. How much will be will be generated? Like, let's have details. Austin from Benin, you're live. Yeah, good evening. Quickly, good have evening. a minute. Yes, uh, I just want to point this out. I am waiting, the Labour Party guys who were, who, who got, uh, who won election to the National Assembly, I'm waiting to see if they will get to the National Assembly and complain about the Jumbo pay they are earning there. I want us to take note of this. Then we will discuss it later. Thank you, Esther. Uh, I like I like what he's saying. Well, you see that pay, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I give up. But why I mean, you don't give Okada man? See, yeah, there was something there was something um Loman said that kind of like um just gave me like a light bulb moment because I'm like he what he said was the people we wanted to put in power mm. we can it'll hold be, them be easier to hold them accountable no, but then i want to go back to something you had said that holding someone accountable or someone being accountable comes from within yeah now even if i put you in power when you do something or you start to act out yes, you start yes. to act outside of what you have said you would do there's so much i can say or do absolutely if it's not coming from within absolutely. you would still misbehave and then absolutely. that's that that's it because we just believe oh there is one particular savior yes you know that person decides. So let me tell it. you how I think the Arabs think. They don't talk to themselves. They say, no country will be finer than our country. It's a, it's a personal pride. Yeah. No country will be finer than my country. My people must live like kings because they are kings. It's a personal resolve. Until we get our leaders to look beyond personal issues ambitions, and say, you know what, and personal every ambitions. Nigerian's life matter. matters. Yeah. And we must start to live like royalty, we must start to live like kings, we must start to tap into the resources that we have in surplus, yeah. and we must give a decent life to every single Nigerian. It's a personal result. Mm -hmm. When that happens, you see things just automatically changing. Until that happens, we really cannot find any leader that we say we want to hold accountable. And yeah. on that note, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you so much, Mary. Why are you smiling? She's been smiling all through today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so please, before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles. Thank you to all our callers that called, especially all our old-time callers. Now, remember, you can uh, interact with us further as I wish you Africa. You can uh, join the conversation and, more importantly, follow all the engagements on social media. Make sure you invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our very, very simple and short quote for today, here it is again. It says, and I quote, accountability feels like an attack when you are not ready to acknowledge how your behavior harms others. You remember what I said before? Not everything is an attack on your person, right? There are actually honest critis uh, criticism that you must be willing to listen to. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.